Today I'm going to show you how to make your own face mask. Now, I just want to point out that these are not medical grade masks. These are just for wearing when you go out just to create a bit of protection both for yourself and for those around you. So I'm using neoprene, which is a material that doesn't fray and is very thick. And one way to check if your mask is actually going to be um, suitable is to hold it, the fabric up to the light and see if you can see through it. And if you can't, then you know that you're going to get some level of protection. If you use a fabric that has a very open weave, you're really not getting any protection. And sure, you might be able to breathe more easily, but it's actually not going to help you. So what we're going to do is we're going to sew the mask pieces first. So I have here the fabric wrong sides together and I'm just going to overlock it. Now you could machine this as well and I'm also going to show you a way of doing this by hand. Overlock around the curve, leaving a tail at each end. I've used a contrast colour here so you can easily see what I'm doing. Next, I'm going to take these tails and I'm just going to trim them to make them all of one length. And then I've got a darning needle. So I'm going to thread the tails into the darning needle and just thread that back on itself and that's just going to stop the overlocking from unraveling so I'll do that to both ends back into the overlocking and trim those threads and now you can see that the overlocking is neat and there's no chance that it's going to fray. Next I've got my strap. It's cut on the fold and you can either use the length that I have on the pattern or you can adjust it to suit your head size and what feels comfortable for you. Another factor will be how much stretch your fabric has. So the direction of stretch is going this way. But if your fabric is super stretchy, then you may find that you need to make the strap shorter or if it doesn't have much stretch, you'll need to make it longer. So decide if you are wanting to have your button on the left or right hand side of the mask and put your strap on the other side. On the instructions, I have a little diagram with an arrow showing the direction of the strap. You don't want to place it straight on, you want it to be on an angle so that it's going to go over your head. Then you set your sewing machine to a small stitch. I've got mine on just over two and I'm going to sew that strap on. Take that out, trim the threads. And there you can see I've just sewn it on with a circle so that it's fully caught on the strap side and on the inside it's fully caught. Next I'm going to sew on a button. So a little trick with making sewing on buttons easier. I'm going to take my thread, I'm just going to use the one from my sewing machine, and fold it in half and then I'm going to thread the needle and bring that through so I actually end up with four threads in my needle. I like to knot it off. Then I'm going to take my button, place it where the marker on the pattern tells me to put the button and I'm just going to sew that on. Now because you have four threads you only actually need to do two stitches Mine's a four hole button, so I'll do two stitches through each pair of the holes on the button. I quite like doing a little cross rather than having them straight. 
And then the next little trick I want to show you is to then bring the needle up to the right side to knot it off. Now this may not look quite as aesthetically pleasing but I'm just knotting it off under the button so it shouldn't show. But what this means is that I'm not going to have the, the knot on the skin side because we really want to create as little irritation as possible. Then the last thing I need to do is snip a hole on the strap for the button to go through. You can use your guide and the guide suggests a 1.5 centimeter button but if your button is smaller or bigger you might want to make your snip for the um, buttonhole bigger. So again this is fabric that won't fray but it is stretchy so you might want to just make your snipped hole slightly smaller than your button so that it will sit snugly and not come off. So there we go, pushing that through, catching it. And there's my mask, finished. And that took all of about five minutes. Okay, let's put this mask on. So the top of the mask is where the higher part of the curve is and you can see that the strap is angling up to go over the head. What I'm really pleased about with this mask is that there is no elastic and there is a shortage of elastic at the moment. But the other thing is because it's neoprene and it doesn't fray, that means that I don't have to finish off the edges, which makes it super fast to make. And also it has a slight amount of stretch, so it's actually going to mold to my face. So let's put this on. I'm going to leave the button done up and I could actually just have sewn that down if that was how I was going to wear it all the time but I think just having the versatility of the button is useful. Let's put my glasses on over the top. So you can see it's moulding really well to my face. There are no gaps. The way it goes over my ears there's no pressure. So it's just sitting on the top of my head like that. I could still wear earrings if I wanted to. And if I had hearing aids, they're just going to be able to sit easily without getting caught. So what do you reckon? If you make one, please tag me at Pattern Union because you know I just love to see your makes as well.